I hope you're having a great day. Well, today I don't want to talk about vitamins. I don't want to talk minerals. I don't want to talk about high blood pressure, cholesterol, cancer, none of that. I want to talk about an underlying effect that possibly leads to most diseases that exist in life today. Most of the diseases that we see currently are now categorized by the WHO as lifestyle diseases. When we break down lifestyle diseases, it's as simple as poor lifestyle leads to lifestyle diseases which also gives us hope that if I change my lifestyle, will I be able to get better? Will I be able to possibly recover or heal? And the answer is yes. We have patient after patient coming into our cabin every single day. And one thing which is common between most people that we see today is this level of unhappiness, this pursuit for happiness where everyone is struggling to be happy. Because I ask a direct question, are you happy? And usually the answer is no, not really. And when I say, what are the things that will make you happy? Most people will even say, I need to think about that. I need to think about that. Well, this is something that is very serious. Of course, we can create temporary happiness by you know, going out clubbing every night, drinking, socializing, shopping, drugs, cigarettes, all of that stuff. You know, All of that is there as coping mechanisms. I'm not here to preach to you about how your responsibility. I'm just going to tell you what we've observed and what you can do, but it is your responsibility to make yourself happy. The moment you depend on other people to make you happy, that's where you've started failing already because it is your accountability and your responsibility. You don't get married to someone with the expectation that they make you happy. If you are getting married or falling in love or in a relationship in college or any aspect of your life with that expectation that my partner has to make me happy, right then you started your part of misery because every time your partner doesn't make you happy or is unable to, they're not God to do that for you. You're going to be sad. You're going to be emotional. You're going to be negative and all of that stuff. Let's first talk about unhappiness. Okay. The natural state of a human being is to be happy. Of course, that doesn't happen to everyone. We're supposed to have ups and downs, but anything that moves us away from happiness creates some amount of discomfort and too much of discomfort causes disease. We're not at ease with ourselves. That causes disease. Unhappiness, you need to understand this very, very clearly that unhappiness cannot exist. Unhappiness cannot happen unless you have unhappy thoughts. So what I'm trying to get at over here is your thoughts are everything. Okay, you can only be unhappy if you have unhappy thoughts and if you keep thinking about those unhappy thoughts. Of course, we're human. We are going to have certain unhappy thoughts, certain angry thoughts. But the point is, how much of attention do I give those thoughts? How much am I going to go on thinking about those thoughts? So the more I go on thinking about my unhappy thoughts, the more unhappy I'm going to feel. It's as simple as that. Let's prove it. Do we need science? Do we need some evidence based study? No, we're going to prove it right now. Try to be unhappy right now. Can you be unhappy right now? The answer is no. You cannot be unhappy unless you have an unhappy thought. Let's change that. Try to be happy right now. Can you be happy? No. You cannot be happy unless you have a happy thought. So one thing that we know for sure is that your thoughts result in your feelings. Now, if I'm constantly thinking thoughts that make me feel happy, okay, I am going to feel happy. I'm going to constantly give attention and put all my energy into thinking about my unhappy thoughts. I'm going to be unhappy. This is the simple basics of happiness and unhappiness. <clears throat> I'm not here to tell you to think positive because that's a whole load of bullshit as well. Everyone going around telling everyone think positive, be positive. That's not possible. You can think and be positive for a while, but the moment those positive thoughts pass by, you're going to be unhappy and depressed again. So the idea is there are going to be happy thoughts. There are going to be sad thoughts. There are going to be thoughts of jealousy and envy. There are going to be thoughts of anger and sadness. It is how much of attention and how much of energy you focus on each of these thoughts. We will all have these thoughts. Let's talk about happiness right now. Everyone thinks it is someone else's responsibility to make them happy. I'm unhappy because my boss didn't promote me. I'm unhappy because I didn't get a good raise. Well, you've attached your happiness with a condition. You need to understand that happiness exists in, in the, independently of circumstances and conditions. Let me repeat that once again for you. Your happiness exists independently of your circumstances and conditions. What do I mean by that? The simple statement, my life will get better when I find a perfect partner. So you're postponing your happiness until you get the perfect partner, which may never happen. 
You may still get a partner who you think is perfect and turns out to be imperfect for you. My life will get better when I have X amount of money in my bank or when I'm driving that car or when my mother-in-law starts behaving better or when my child gets a 100% grade in school or when people start giving me compliments, I've lost weight and I look good. You are just postponing your happiness. Your happiness cannot have conditions. If you put a condition to your happiness, you are gonna be miserable. And every time those conditions are met, you'll be happy, but nothing lasts forever. The moment the conditions change, you have a crash. And then you think your life is the worst and you move into victim mode. So when it comes to happiness, my experience is decide and commit that you are gonna be happy irrespective of what is going on in your life right now. You could be a fourth stage cancer patient right now and saying, Luke, how can I be happy right now? What's your other choice? Is sadness gonna help you recover? Is anger gonna help you recover? No, so decide to be happy by focusing on what you may have going well for you in your life. So irrespective of your circumstances, you may be in the most toxic relationship right now. You still have a choice to get out of that relationship. If you can't get out of that relationship, you stay in it, but you decide to be happy irrespective. When we make this decision and commitment to be happy, irrespective of what's happening, our lives change. Our thoughts start moving on to things that make us feel good. But when we've not committed to being happy, our thoughts will automatically go on to everything that is not going well in our lives and everything that is making us feel sad in our lives. So please understand your thoughts are real, but your thoughts are not your reality. Your thoughts are not your reality. Think about any thought that you have. Has it become your reality? The answer is no. It's become your experience of how you're living your life according to the feelings that your thoughts have generated. Most of your thoughts will never become a reality. When you have one small unhappy thought, but the mind keeps thinking and thinking and thinking because you're feeding this thought more and more of your attention and energy, that brain builds up into a story and an illusion. And most people are struggling from their own stories and illusions that they've built with their own minds because they fed a thought. So a thought is like a tumor. You feed the tumor, the tumor grows. You feed the thought, the thought grows into more stories and more illusions and more fear and insecurity and everything that comes along with fear and insecurity. So please understand, I'm gonna repeat this again. Unhappiness cannot exist without unhappy thoughts and vice versa. Your happiness is your responsibility and accountability. Everyone today who has put an expectation on someone else to make them happy, it's about time that you change that. Yes, it is nice to be in a relationship, be it with your partner, your children, your colleague at work, where, you know, the relationship have a little bit of expectation that one another will compliment each other to make them happy. But if you have made it someone else's responsibility to make you unhappy, to make you happy, that's not gonna work. And look into your own life right now and you'll find that you are most disappointed and happy because you had massive expectations from someone else. Happiness is your responsibility. Good health is your responsibility. You can take help from people, you can you know, uh, look for support from people, but it is still your responsibility. And unless you've decided and committed to be happy irrespective, nothing's gonna change. No amount of counseling, no amount of diet, no amount of exercise, no amount of running to the Himalayas and sitting there for six months, no amount of yoga, chanting, none of that is gonna help unless you've decided and committed that I am gonna be happy irrespective of what is happening. Then you are not dependent on conditions and circumstances that can change every day, every hour, every week. You've decided to be happy and your life starts moving automatically in the direction that you choose. You choose unhappiness, you have unhappiness. You choose love, you have love. Okay, and of course you'll have obstacles. It's not gonna come easy to you. That's exactly how life is, but you still commit. You still commit to happiness and you decide to be happy. Be happy, and this is what changes. You know, today we're seeing a world where the statistics of diseases are getting worse and worse, despite medicine, nutrition, doctors, gyms, all of that stuff. Why? People are empty, most people. People are unhappy. And just because you see someone who's great at covering this all up and trying to be happy in society, you gotta see the other side of what's really going on in their life. So we, we need to stop fooling ourselves, live our truth, live our, you know, our authentic selves of if we're not happy, why? Fix it, fix it. No one's gonna come along and fix it. Your perfect partner is gonna come and probably fix it for the first week, the honeymoon, honeymoon period, and then you're gonna be back to reality. So you gotta take responsibility and start fixing it right now. And you do that by deciding and committing to be happy. Have a great day, everyone.
next time eat smart move more sleep right and breathe deep